Baby, make I feel your leg walk. Baby, make I feel your energy. Baby, slow down, make you dance for me. Make you dance to that beat and melody. Baby, cool it down, cause I'm tempted to touch. I say, cool it down, while your body they hunt. Baby, cool it down, say there's no need to rush. I say, cool it down, while you can they come on. I'm a little baby. I'm a little baby. Tomato, baby. Hey guys, my name is Celestine and Travis. You're welcome to my channel. I'll be showing you today how I made this beautiful drapey kimono top. And for this top, you'll be needing just a few measurements. Your shoulder to the tip of your middle finger, if that makes sense. So all you need to do is to measure from the highest point of your shoulder which is by your neck down to the tip of your longest finger which is your middle finger okay so and you need to take this measurement with your arm stretched out sideways okay so then the other measurement is my shoulder to on the bust and the full length which is the desired length of the blouse so from this point I'll mark the full length of my top and the full length I'll be working with is 22 inches which is already the length of this paper from this line okay then on this horizontal line i would mark the, my shoulder to the tip of my middle finger which is 32 inches okay so we'll be using this paper to cut for the back and the front so from this point now i'll mark my under bust measurement which is 13 and a half So with my ruler, I'm just going to square out. And then I'll still come to the M of the blouse to mark, to mark, insert this measurement, which is 32 inches. So now guys, I'll take you through this point again. So all I did was to measure on this line, insert my measurement, which is the tip of my shoulder to the tip of my longest finger. Then from this point to this point is my underboss measurement, my shoulder to my underboss, and I square it out. Then down here is the length of the blouse. All right, guys. So now we'll be using this paper to cut for the front and the back. I use same neckline for the front and for the back, but you can make your back neckline higher than the front neckline if you choose to. So let's just assume I want my neckline, my back neckline to be higher than my front neckline. On this line, I'm going to mark the width of my neckline. So for this top, I used four and a half inches. And for the front, I'll come down with four inches. So using my French curve, I'm just going to connect together. Come down two inch for the back neckline. And for this top, there is no shoulder seam at all. This top is not going to have any shoulder seam. On this line, you mark your bust measurement divided into four. So my bust measurement is 36. 36 divided into four is nine. Plus two inches will be 11. So I'll mark 11. Then I'll take this measurement here and mark it on the end line. Then I'm going to add one inch to this. To make it 12 so now I'm just going to connect this point to this point so for the sleeve 
I'll be connecting from this point to this point. This is it. So now I'll just go ahead and cut. So guys, here you have it. This is a pattern for the top. I'm just going to illustrate how you're going to cut this on your fabric. Let's say this is your fabric. This part would be the length for both the front and the back. So all you need to do is to fold your fabric like so. Fold your fabric in half like so. Then you fold into two again like so. Okay. So for this top, I would advise you use a very lightweighted fabric. This actually enables it to drip nicely on your body, considering the fact there is no shoulder seam. So um, the stitching is straightforward for the neckline. I used a bias tape to pipe the neck and every other thing is pretty straightforward, very easy. So guys, this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.